G U E L P H. Okay. And then I think the font that I use here was Rockwell Extra Bold. Okay. Now I'll just squeeze it a little bit because I know it's going to be an art here. Now you can always use the say envelope. I'm going to put the envelope effect. You can always put uh, like if I go to envelope here. There are some presets too, but I want to make my own. Well, let's say I want to make my own my own shape. Say for example here. So what what am I gonna do? Okay. So say I'm gonna recreate this shape. So I want it's actually combination of welding and uh, this side here. Okay. So first I'm going to make a box a box like that. And I'm gonna make a shape, you know, curve shape. Okay. So I'm gonna combine this ellipse. Okay. And then since if you look at this shape here, it's also an ellipse here. So ellipse here and also ellipse here. So you have to make a shape which has ellipse and then ellipse over the side too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a, an ellipse on top like that. And just imagine this is the shape that I wanted. So before doing that, I have to make sure that these three objects this should, this, I'll use the graph thing. Right this side here. Yeah. So I need to make these three objects centered or uh, vertically. So I click here, the first, the second, and the third object, and I type in C to center. Okay. Now I know it's already centered. Then I can adjust a little bit and I can also adjust this one. Because what's going to happen is this shape here, the letters of graph will go inside to the shape. Okay, So how do I do this? There's a really quick way to do it uh, by using this one, the Smart Fill tool. You can, you can always you know, weld this one, intersect and then delete, delete. But there's a faster way to do it by using the Smart Fill tool. So if you click on the Smart Fill tool and just click on this one, and then just delete these objects here. So now I have the shape there. I'm gonna remove the fill, okay, and the wealth here. Just make it bigger, just to fit in. Okay. Now I'm gonna use envelope to to use that effect. So I click on that and go to effects. And I click on envelope. Okay, so envelope here. Since I'm, I want this this shape here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create from. So click on that drop eyedropper tool, and then an arrow will show up, and it's asking, okay, what shape do you want this text to go in? So I'm going to click on this one, right? And since it's in there now, see, look at it. It's in there. I just click on apply. And there it is. Very simple. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this, and I have this one already. So what I did here is, if you notice, the G and the H is is bigger. So what I'll do, I'll go to arrange, convert to curves, okay. and go back to arrange again and break curve apart. So you notice the P is not right, so you know, enclose the P in the box and just click on combine. Okay. So my only thing is the G and the H. So I click here and hold on shift and click on letter H. And then I'm going to expand it going down. And then I did I did make it bigger too on the top portion. Okay. There you go. Now if you notice the edge is a little bigger so I would say I'll make a line like that and then line here too just to make the H and the G consistent and I would go this. There. Okay. Then I can combine then I can combine this one. Okay. Now, 
So for the effect here, what I did is just want to make it bigger here. So for the effect, since it's combined, so I'll make the text. Well, I'll, do, I'll make this white first, so that I have a basis. So you go to outline tool, click on this outline, and then I'll say I'll make it 16. Okay, I'll make this black. That's fine. Make sure behind fill and scale with images check and I also would check this one for corners and I click OK so if you notice there's an outline array right? now what I'm gonna do because since if you look at this artwork here it's white and then they ha also have a black outline so with this one you click on plus duplicate okay so there are two objects there it's exactly the same one is behind the one object which I can click on the plus sign on my keyboard and I go to my outline fill tool click on this outline pen dialog since it's 16 I'm gonna double that uh, that point size to 32 and then I'll make it a different uh, for now I'll just make it a different size uh, I mean different uh, colors I'll just make it orange for now and this too has to be checked and this one corners would be rounded and click OK there. Now what happens is this the, the object with the orange outline is in front. So I click on the orange one, it says the orange, and I go to arrange order to back of page. There. Now if I look at my artwork here, I already have established the two uh, two outlines. Okay. So now I can make this one, the first one with the white outline, with a different feel. So I will go. I'm not going to make an exact one. I'm just gonna make a similar one to that. So let's say okay, I'll just choose that one and uh, I'll choose this. And I'll make this 90 degrees. And click OK here. Okay. Now I'm going to make the outline white for the first one, the foreground here. And then the orange one, you click on the orange one, make sure you have it right because it's here it shows. And then I'll make that black. There. Okay. So I'm not really happy with the fill, so maybe I'll just change that too. A different color. I would say this one. Yeah, you know, it's a gold. Okay. There. So now for the last effect, you choose the the one with the black outline, which is this one. See here, and you click on plus sign again. So we're gonna make a drop shadow and move it down. Yeah. and make sure to put the fill into black so there you go so that's the tutorial all about um, the envelope